What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today I am going to show you on how to loot an enemy's body. It's going to be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is right click, create a new blueprint class, and this is going to be a character. Let's call this VP underscore dead enemy. Now of course, if you already have your AI enemy with your health system, that it will die and so on, you will go ahead and implement the logic that I'm going to show you right now in your enemy. But basically, let's go to the then graph. And in the begin play, you're going to do is get the mesh, okay, and you set simulate physics. This will go ahead and make the enemy ragdoll. Now, of course, you will put this when your enemy dies, so when the health is zero. Let's also go ahead and apply a mesh. In this case, let me just use, for example, uh, Manny Simple, and then put him in position, so minus 89 over here, and then rotation minus 89. I'm going to go ahead and just put him the ABP money as the idle animation. And now with that, I'm going to go down and put the collision presets to be on custom and then on collision enable to be physics uh, and uh, query and physics. So collision enable. So his bones will be able to collide and this will basically just work. So now I can just go drag him into the scene. As you can see when I press play, we just drag though into the ground and there we go. So now let's go ahead that I can make that we can uh, loot him. So what we're going to do is go into my third person character blueprint or whatever character blueprint you have. And I just go ahead and make that when you uh, make the left mouse button. So when you left click, I'm going to go ahead and do a line trace by channel. So we'll do an invisible right cast. In this case, the, this will start in his camera position. So get weld transform, right click split it. The location will be here, and the end point will be, well, his uh, forward vector. So where we are looking at right now, and I'm going to go ahead and multiply this by values. It's going to be the distance, uh, the max distance that I can interact with him. In this case, I'm going to right click on this to a float, and this will be around 300. And now I can just add both of these vectors, and now that will give us our end point. I'm going to go ahead and just debug this for duration, so we can preview this. And if we have hit something, now we can just get the result and break it. So we have all of the information about the object that we have to use hidden. So now you can see when I click E, sorry, uh, left mouse button, I can now go ahead and just uh, put this right cast. And maybe it makes more sense to be E, so I'm gonna change it to be E, but of course you can put whatever key you want. Um, okay, so now what I am going to do is create an interface so I can interact with this dead enemy in the scene. Now, of course, you can just go ahead, get the actor that we have just created, and you can cast to a dead enemy. But with an interface, we don't have to uh, specifically cast into this specific actor. We can just, you know, loot anybody at all. You in the future have different types of enemies or whatever, it would just work better. So let me just go ahead, go back into the content browser, just right click in the blueprints uh, section and go ahead and create a blueprint interface. And this will be BPI underscore um, loot. And I can just open this and this will use loot body, for example, right? Uh, let's make a space here. And we will not, uh, so yeah, so we're going to go ahead and put an output because this will give us the amount of resources or whatever that we're getting from that enemy. In this case, I don't have an inventory system, so I cannot, you know, pass like a specific item or slot. We're gonna make it simple and universal, and this is gonna be just the item. And I'm gonna just put a string. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add another one. And this will be the amount of that item. In this case, this will be a uh, integer. So with that, I can just compile, save, and close. So now we have to go ahead and add this interface into our dead enemy or your enemy or AI or whatever you're having. So let's go back here, class settings, implement interfaces. And now I am going to go ahead and just add our BPI loot. And now you can see that we have a new section. We can just double click here, and this will create a function. So when our player will interact with this uh, specific function, we can return something. In this case, what we're going to do is just play a sound, and it's going to be sound 2D, keep it simple. And this can be whatever I want. I mean, I'm just going to say this one, like you're interacting with an item, doesn't really matter. And then here I'm going to pass an item. In this case, I'm going to just pass some different values. So uh, just, just right click, promote variable, and this will be item. Right click, promote variable amount so in this case I can just put some you know example items so let's say for example 
I don't know, wood, <laughs> and then uh, amount uh, 15, right? Is an example. So now the player will be able to get this. So now I can go back here, and from the hit actor, I can just make sure that it does implement that interface, which will be the BPI loot. And if so, and if it contains that interface, I can now just go ahead and loot body. And now this will give us our item and the amount. And this will be a universal, it can work with whatever actor has this interface added. I just don't directly have to cast into a specific class. I can just work it with whatever actor it contains this interface. So now what I can do with this is for example, print. Right, you print into stream. And then I can just go ahead and say format text. Should be able to format with text, uh, uh, to string to text, there we go, and now format text, there we go, so I need to convert this into a text, format it, and now I can just put in this uh, school brackets, I can put just the item, and then another, uh, this, this school brackets, and then go ahead and you say amount, and then this points, and then another, uh, this type of brackets, and then the amount itself, and like this. So now you can see that we have the input so i can just pass this here and pass this here and with that said i can now just compile and you'll see that that will print in the top left corner of the string so if i go here press e to interact with him uh, it doesn't happen uh, because nothing because the collisions are incorrectly set up so here we're using the uh, visibility trace channel and uh, 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 on here in the mesh as you can see visibility is set to ignore so let's put this on block and also in the capsule collider this should be pawn uh, so let's go ahead and just put this uh, custom and visibility also in block so we'll make sure that we can interact with this guy so now you can see we all the sound plays wood amount 15. so let's quickly just go ahead and just make a use interface to display this and this is going to be a more elaborate example so it's going to be load uh, notification let's go ahead and open this add the canvas panel so we can start adding things into the screen and I add a text and this will be exactly the same thing. So it will be like the item and it will contain the amount. Uh, and there we go and it will be like for example 15. Okay. So this is just an example. So we will fill in this over here. So now what I would do with my first uh, third person character is create this widget. And of course instead of printing I will just create a widget. And then I will just select our class, which is this one, and then just go ahead and add it into the uh, viewport, so appear on the player screen. And then on here, I will just go ahead and make sure that this is a variable, and this will be just be the item text, for example. Make sure to compile, go back here, and then say get item text, and you say set text, so we can display it here. So it will be this function here. And I can just go ahead and plug in this. And we just convert it back to a string. Uh, actually, I can just convert it directly. There we go. And with that, that should work. Um, so now, if I get my guy over here, you can see that now we have this wood amount 15. And of course, if this will return anything else. So, I don't know. For example, uh, a, an, an X <laughs> and an amount it will be like 2. And this will go ahead and change to be so. And of course, you should add, you can see that that changes. You should add like a small animation. I do have a tutorial on that, so I will leave it in the description for the UI. Uh, but that's it, guys. If you found this tutorial helpful, I would really appreciate if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. The product files will be available in my Patreon YouTube members, so check it out. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials. And now, yes, with all I said, bye bye.